We are live and first of all we are kicking off with Reliance Global Inc up 8.85% uh, in this pre-market session of the 10th of uh, January 2021. Yes, uh, obviously you may have discovered that the, the stocks we are covering are mostly the ones that um, have um, significant amount of um, short interests of them so that's what we are covering in this session and indeed any other one so reli stock up 8.85 percent in this pre-market session and all through the post-market session and up till now it has been extending So let's um, get the next one. The next one is uh, B I R D or Earl Bird up 0 0.36. It's been extending as well, moving sideways. Well, extended slightly from the previous close, obviously, up 0 0.36. Not a huge lot, you know. Momentum is totally flat right now. There isn't very much going on with uh, B I R D stock right now. So let's quickly move on to T D O C. TDOC okay, down 0.15%. Momentum is waning as well. Momentum is waning and um, all the moving averages have been declining from the uh, highs of the previous session. RSI is also waning. Momentum is totally oversold right now on uh, Teladoc, uh, Teladoc Inc. stock. So let's move on to BYND. BYND is up 1.46%. 1.46%. Okay, the stock is um, trying to extend, but I got some resistance where the volume weighted average price was. So, but momentum is very strong. RSI, okay, be quite strong as well. Let's move on to ISIG. ISIG up 4.37%. Momentum is uh, improving. RSI is equally improving. The stock reached this high of 24.69 and retreated and fell below its 50 day moving average. It's from there it pivoted and is now getting some resistance from its uh, volume weighted average price right now. ISIG stock up 4.37%. Okay, let's move on to LGVN. LGVN is down 1.24%. Nothing is going on there. Momentum totally flat. RSI is equally flat as well. Nothing, nothing is really going on there. So let's look at CRTX. CITX is up 0.17%. Nothing is going on with uh, CRTX, Cotexign, Inc. So let's uh, look at CZOO, Kazoo. Kazoo Group Limited is up 6.61%, trading at $5. So, yes, this is where it's trading at $5. This, uh, and it's an increase of 6.61% right now. Momentum is uh, very strong, very strong, totally overbought. So to the RSI as well. Okay, let's move on to BFRI, BFRI. By Frontera down 1.95%. Momentum is strong, very strong, but um, not so strong as the RSI. Down 1.95%, trading at $5.03. LMND. 
Lemonade Inc. is up 1.64%, currently trading above all of its moving averages. Momentum is very strong, so too is the RSI as well, but um, it's quite erratic. It's just suddenly gone uh, oversold right now. That is the uh, the momentum based on this 14 period slow stochastic oscillator on this one minute live session for LMD and indeed all the other stocks we, we are looking at in this uh, coverage. So let's look at GTLB. GTLB, GitLab, uh, down 0 .0, oh, sorry, up 0.01%. Momentum is poor right now. So let's look at GOGO. GOGO is uh, unchanged. So we have another stock on the move in this pre market session PTPI, I think. There's a PTSI. Let's see what that stock is again. PSTI. Yeah. PSTI. PSTI is uh, pluristemmed therapeutics up to 12.24%. Spite suddenly in this pre market session has uh, since pulled back. Let's see what the news is behind this uh, rally for the stock. Okay, it's saying here, Pluristem Therapeutics forms cultured food joint venture with Israel's Tenova Group. Okay, the, bio, the biotech company Pluristem and Israel's largest food producer Tenova launched landmark collaboration to establish cultured food platform. So that is what is behind this, I believe. So the joint venture receive exclusive global royalty bearing license and rights to use blue stems proprietary technology to be used in the field of cultured meat. It will get a $7.5 million investment from Tenova and another $7.5 million over a period of 12 months, 12 months if Tenova exercises its, exercises its options. Blue Stem will support the establishment, research and development activities of the joint venture under a service agreement. So yes, that's uh, what is behind uh, PSTI's uh, such to $1.65, again of 12.24%. Okay, let's return and see what's going on with uh, RELI. Okay, Reliance Global is up 8.85%. Let's see what is, uh, whether there's any news. There isn't any news, so definitely uh, a case of uh, momentum and interest obviously it has a, a huge short interest so let's uh, see whether we can get what a short interest is concerning our real life stock from uh, short squeeze reliance global okay see that short interest is 53.86 percent yes it's a huge one So there's also another stock on the move there, NI. Okay, it's down uh, 0 0.39. Okay, there's another one, LVPH. RV, RVPH. Reviver Pharmaceuticals. It is up 18.86%, just like um, PSTI spiked at the open of the pre market session and has since pulled back, trying to extend again. Let's see what's behind this. Okay. Reviver uh, Pharmaceuticals receives uh, FDA may proceed a letter for pivotal phase 3 clinical trial and long-term safety trial evaluating um, Brilla roxine for the treatment of uh, schizophrenia okay so a revival from pharmaceuticals initiation of uh, both uh, phase 3 trials expected to end by january 22 so yeah it's got an the, the, the company got an F, fda approval that is why yeah, we are seeing this move would it extend further? There's every chance. There's every chance. Up 18.86%. 
and momentum is still holding up there so too is the RSI okay let's look at BIRD all birds is just up 0 0.36 a lot of these uh, stocks we are hoping to squeeze they are not really moving we're just checking on them BYND up 0 0.79 Okay, Kazoo is the next one. I think it has some action there. 6.61, that's the move for Kazoo. Let's see whether there's any news or just, uh, okay, yes. The buying effort of uh, traders is uh, what is behind this gain we're seeing for uh, B, uh, Kazoo, CZOO. So too, that of RELI as well up 8.85 at some point it was nine percent or thereabouts so let's look at isig isig is up 2.74 right now it has uh facing some resistance from its volume with average price okay there isn't any news as such as well Okay, let's look at S E F S E V S A V A Cassava Sciences. Cassava Sciences is up zero point just modestly zero point. That's uh, below moderate uh, below modest zero point zero four if you don't mind. Okay, so um, let's uh, get back again and see what's going on with PSTI. PSTI is uh, up thirteen point six one percent. Blue stem. Okay, the, 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 this company got a joint venture with. Um, um, another company to produce a uh, cultured meat that is what uh, amongst other things is behind this and then rvph rvph got an fda approval to proceed okay yes it's proceeding it's proceeding we got an fda approval to proceed with its uh, clinical phase three trial of uh, one of its if one of its drugs that uh, is for treating schizophrenia so at some point as uh, just a few minutes into this pre-market session it reached 3.7 dollars and we treated all the way down to 3.48 so that gives us 0 0.22 so 0 0.22 that's the difference between that high and that low 0 0.22 times 2.618 plus the current price of 3.57 plus 3.57 will give us 4.14 roughly is that possible 4.14 yes possible price target 4.14 very much possible we are just uh, if you not even up to a dollar away from that so and still um, early days in this uh, pre-market session for Reviver Pharmaceuticals. So there are other stocks on the move now getting active. Let's look at um okay, well, there's also Zynga there. Let's see what's going on with Zynga. Z N G A. Okay, up fifty percent. Oh my goodness, what's going on with uh, Zynga? Let's find out. Okay, Zynga and Take Two Media to merge in, in, in cash and st stock deal, which uh, values the total total enterprise after approximately twelve point seven dollars, twelve point seven billion dollars. So, it's a merger news that is behind this. So, video game maker Take Two Interactive Software will acquire mobile game maker Zynga in a cash and stock deal at an enterprise value of nearly twelve point seven billion dollars. The company said on Monday. Uh, today so that's Monday today the 10th of January take two said it will acquire the outstanding shares of Zynga at nine point eight six dollars okay let's see uh, what the price is right now nine point eight six okay it's still at six dollars okay has a reduced night of nine dollars so just um, a few more cents away from that eight point eight six 
shares of Zynga rose okay yes to 8.89 at some point but it's, it's gone below beyond that the price represents a premium of 64.4 percent for to Zynga's uh, last closing price the, the equity value of the deal is uh, 11.04 billion dollars according to Reuters calculation the deal is expected to close by the end of June so it sounded like uh, this is a this is a pretty much definitive so and that deal is the 9.86 per share that's the what they're proposing so if you get it now you are uh, uh, you probably have to wait for some time I, I guess it's pretty much guaranteed so you still have 86 cents to make up if you jump in on Zynga right now so I'm not saying that you should jump in though but um, that's uh, what's going on it's up 50 percent three three percent it's supposed to be it's supposed to be up 64 percent to actually reach that uh, 9.86 target so let's return and see what's going on with reli okay still up it doesn't hasn't changed 8.85 percent is the gain so let's uh, catch up with um, some of the other ones on the move, CINC. Okay. Synco Pharmaceuticals Inc. Okay, nothing going on there, but it's up 6.25. Nothing. VIGL, let's see. Vigil Neuroscience is down 30.95%. Momentum to totally flat. So to RSI. UMPQ. Umqua Holdings up 1.57%. Not very much going on there. Let's return to PSDI PSDI up uh, 12.24 percent RVPH up 17.51 our target is uh, 4.14 for RVPH and then Zynga Zynga is expected to trade up to $9.86 right now it's still at $9.1 okay let's return to RELI and see whether we can look at uh, what is going on what whether there are options for RELI whether it's an optionable stock the short interest is uh, 53.86 that's a huge amount okay there are no options um, our ELI is not optionable. Let's see whether the CZ. Yes, it is it's optionable. but there isn't um, a huge amount of uh, activity or put interests 
on its options at the moment. Yes, let's see whether we can find it's an it's short interest. There isn't. I think it's because um, the stock is uh, pretty much new. Okay, RELI still unchanged, still pretty, pretty much unchanged. Trading at 6.62 again of 8.52%. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at all the other um, stocks that uh, and see what they are, what this the the options uh, option figures are like. B I R D. Okay, you want us to have a look at the B B I G? Okay, B B I G. Vinco Ventures up 1.73. Let's see if there's any news here. Okay, there isn't any news. Okay, momentum is right now is flat at the moment, and um, RSI is just uh, not so wonderful either. But momentum, there isn't anything going on now concerning the stock. Do you have a position in uh, our um, BBIG? Well, we actually saw this. There's this plunge that happened, but it quickly recovered. Quickly recovered. You can see that plunged from 2.36 down to 2.31. It looks like a lot graphically, but well, it is something. It is something. Okay, you want to get involved? Okay, let's. Uh, and uh, look at the option, the short interest for BBIG. Okay, we don't exactly have the figure. Okay, the sh current short interest is short short uh, interest volume is at twenty twenty nine, so twenty six point nine zero. Okay, we can always find a float. Okay, um, market watch is saying it's a one hundred twenty one point one eight. Oh, BBLG, sorry. Okay, bone logics. Okay, yes, yes. There must be some news out there. Okay, there isn't any news, but it's uh, from this we are seeing that it is um, it is uh, one of the active, one of the most active active stocks right now. About more than one point six million shares have crossed the table already. Bone logics up eighteen point three seven percent. You want to you want to have an idea of a price target? Okay, let's do use a four point one eight minus three point nine seven and zero point two five. Times two point six one eight. Six five four five zero point six five four five plus the current price of four point 
0.03 so we have a target of 4.68 BBLG but it is uh, is uh, currently losing some some uh, some of its gains let's see whether there's any news behind this Okay, there isn't any news as we I think we lock we we have we've not seen that already. There might be some news right now, but um, it hasn't uh, come up yet. So it has just uh, pulled back and getting support from its 50-day moving average on this one-minute life model. So the gain is now 15.74 percent, which translates to a gain of 0 0.52 dollars. Let's look at um, RELI and see what's going on there. Oh, okay, it has lost some some of the gains. Now down, the gain is now down seven point three eight percent. D I R D. Okay, some gains still maintaining the same gain one point four three. T D O C. The dock is uh, down 0 0.83 BYND up 0 0.41 ISIG. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, ISIG is uh, up 5.61 insignia. Let's see whether there's any news. Okay, there isn't any news. For insignia. Momentum is very strong right now for ISIG. LGVN. Okay, down three point one per cent. Launch Veron. CRTX Well, quite frankly, I, I can't tell exactly. I can't I won't be able to tell you uh, how soon it's going to come up, but um um let's let's quickly have a look at that. ABSI okay down six point eight two percent even yeah momentum is totally flat upside upside crop okay let's look at the underlying trend for the stock <laughs> yes it's it's a bearish one for the stock ABSI but even the momentum is improving but you know determine for yourself if it's not going to do well whether you are keen on staying on for some time to get back your money you know so decide if you know if it's uh, whether you're gonna wait for it to get on you know improve so that you can get your money back or hang on there or rather take your money out and uh, seek something else you know? so I, for sure I can't tell you uh, what it is you know, but what whether it's going to rally or not so but I, um i can't exactly say if it if it extended in the last session if it did rally in the last session sometimes um in the subsequent ones it might just uh cool off and move sideways but there isn't any guarantee the underlying trend is uh still very much bearish The stock is still trading below on this daily model. It's still trading below all of its moving averages at the moment. So technically not so wonderful, not doing so wonderful. So um, there's every chance that 
some of the fundamental problems maybe maybe behind this uh, the, the the bear strand it uh, the Donovan trend has you know so I can't exactly tell you when um, it's going to move up so. So let's go and see RTX. Got design is uh, down zero, rather up zero point zero eight percent. So let's look at the CZ. Oh, oh. Okay, this is the daily model. Let's look at the live model. You just join us. Thank you very much. We're looking at uh, some of the stocks that have. Uh, that on the short squeeze radar so that's what some of the lost stuff stocks we're looking at right now kazoo is one of them up 6.61 percent that's got bf all right by frontera down 1.36 but the momentum is strong LMND Yeah, yes, if you, if you think um if you Think that that's all right if you think um, you're going to buy uh, some of it again. You said you were going to buy. Okay. Yeah, if it's uh, bearish or something like that. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it makes sense. You know. Um, but at the same time, you know, you could you could also look at other stocks. You know. Because um, um, I mean, look at other stocks as well. You know, instead of because uh, you already have uh, some money tied into the stock now, and you're now going to add some more to it. So, um, I mean, left to me, I, I would uh, just leave it. Leave it left to me. This is what I would do. I'll leave the one the position I have in ABSI at the moment, and then use that uh, cash to look at other things that are going on elsewhere. You know. Um, so that at least we'll be assuming that this the the, pos the the position you already have is going to long run for some time, you know, run run for maybe one or two months or just a few weeks. Then you are having um, you you balancing things out a bit a bit more. You have uh, one you're waiting for, and then probably one you are going to uh, get involved with uh, some of the volatile uh, plays. Uh, that might be resulting, you know, even though the underlying the underlying trend for the broader market is uh, still very much bearish. Okay, let's uh, see what's going on with um, the S and P futures. So S and P futures still down, still down at what six five zero right now. Okay, still bearish. You can see that all of these happened uh, this morning. All these happened. Still very much bearish. Momentum is still. Uh, the the fast line of this what imperial slow stochastic oscillator is uh, sloping bullish uh, bearishly downwards. See, so yes, the broader market is uh, not so wonderful for a lot of stocks, but at the same time, a lot of things are going on. Um, our, uh, this stock we're looking at, RELI, um, has a very huge amount of uh, volatility, up to one thousand percent, I believe. You know, so. Um, that's left to me. This is what I'll do. You know. So let's look at um, GTLB. Okay, it's unchanged. Let's look at GOGO. -O. Okay, unchanged. So let's return to RELI. Still, okay. Lost some um, some of those gains. Now trading at seven point seven zero.
okay see the see volatility 1401 you know it's uh it didn't it's, it was over the last 10 trading sessions it was a very volatile one but there's no this is not this is not to say that you should get by um a real life stock there's some you know, reasons why uh it's it's a good it's good to observe it the the um let's see let's get the short interest the fourth short interest about 53 percent let's get a short interest about 53 percent that will be yes 53.86 percent or approximately 54 percent you know so the good thing about that is that 54 uh, percent of this 66 million that's uh, more than 33 million dollars is locked into the stock so if you're observing the stock because of that i don't think you are wasting your time it's a good reason he said you know that i mean there isn't any argument against um at least to saying to say the least watching a stock that has some amount of uh, short interest in it let alone one like uh, reli stock that has uh, 53 or approximately 54 percent so money is locked up into the stock so uh, amongst other things also that is probably why uh, we have this um, huge amount of uh, volatility of, of volatility of 1401 percent over the last 10 trading sessions so right now the momentum uh, is uh, i think it's waning maybe waning but um the stock appears to be in a strong british trend yes um before now the the line trend for the stock was bearish you know, this is the daily chart so all those moving averages are uh, sloping bullishly upwards even though the stock has cooled off now now below its uh, 10 day moving average on this one minute life model so on this uh, daily model so this is uh, what is going on with it right now this is you know, obviously in the pre-market session so um so yes reli highly volatile has been volatile over the last uh, 10 trading session sessions about more than 33 million dollars is locked up into the stock so um market participants are out to get a, get your hands on that uh 32 million dollars that is what is behind uh this some of the gains we have seen it um, over the last seen it run up over the last um, trading sessions i think on the 7th of friday the 7th of january it closed it lost nine uh, percent it lost nine percent so um who knows what's going to happen today okay so let's see whether we can get a target for reli -E 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 so it's uh, let's use this price of um 6.6 .6 and this of 6.3 so that will be 3.0.32 0. 0.3 4 i believe 0, 0. 0.34 yeah, okay, it has gained again now. Again, about uh, almost one percent times two point six one eight zero eight nine plus uh, six point six three. Okay, seven point five two. That's our target. Seven point five two. Some point five two is our target for RELI. So before now we were looking at uh, some of the the option grids option grid for some of these uh, short squeeze short squeeze uh, stocks. There isn't a huge amount for BIRD. There isn't a huge amount of uh, open interest there. So let's let's look at the next one T -W -T -D -O -C, if it's optionable. it's optionable yes okay there isn't um it says there isn't a huge amount of open interest there as well so let's uh, look at BYND and see what the open interests are like for BYND beyond meat. 
beyond meter the skepticism towards the stock because obviously it's into um, as it were called as it's just it called um, um, plant meat so there's a lot of skepticism towards the comp towards the stock in open interest are not uh, not so wonderful not um, not huge okay let's look at ISIG if it's optionable okay ISIG is not optionable let's look at um, LGVN okay same not not optionable CRTX This is probably the most shorted um, by tech stock CRTX open interests okay slightly in the few in the thou in the thousands this is the January 21 calls that this these will expire in 11 day, 11 days time so the stock uh, closed the session of the 7th of January at 12.05 dollars. So yes, yeah, you can see they're pricing in a move towards uh, twelve fifty and up to fifteen five zero fifteen fifteen dollars. So yeah, even up to seventeen dollars, I would even up to twenty dollars. So market participants are speculating that um, before that it expires, it will get up to twenty dollars. Is it possible? Well, never say never. So that's a CRTX. Okay, let's look at a CZO. Uh, I think it's also optional. Well, we have seen that. Yeah, Kazoo is optionable, but they're not uh, interesting, they're not fascinating. BFRI. Okay, or not optionable. LMND. Optionable, yes. Lemonade Inc. Okay, Option the open interest are scanty. GTLB get labs okay optionable as well let's see get the open interests also not so they are quite uh, small in number get labs let's look at the uh, GOGO GOGO is uh, let's see open interest open interests not wonderful oh yes we have we have we have it but this is uh, still in the money so that's um, yes, surprising still has open interests well yeah okay so it's at um, 1353 we have uh, the next one that will go into the money $14 but um, we would expect that, that there will be a huge amount of open interest there but there isn't there, there isn't very much there if there isn't very much it could be for a various number of reasons so let's return and see what's going on with our, our ELI it's up 8.69 percent okay let's uh, look at uh, BBLG okay up 14.29 percent we have a target of 4.68 will it get there it's possible BBLG PSTI PSTI has uh, a joint agreement to uh, produce uh, cultured meat with um, an, an Israeli company so that's the news concerning PSTI and then we have um, RVPH RVPH also got um, a proceed uh, we proceed uh, notice from the RFDA to produce uh, one of its uh, schizo I mean to proceed with uh, its uh, clinical stage 3 um, trials so for one of its drugs so it's up 8.03 percent we have a target of 4.14 is it possible RVPH 
around the airline let's see what's going on there the reliance group group up uh, is group 8.03 Let's look at CZO. Kazoo is up 6.61%. There isn't any news out there. Okay. ISIG up 4.15%. I don't think there's any news. We've checked before and there isn't any news at the moment. Okay, let's uh, quickly end this session and we're going to come back again and continue to cover some of these uh, short squeeze stocks and indeed uh, or, or, or any other stock. Okay, so thank you very much for joining this live, live stream. We're coming back in a few, about a few minutes. Yes, we'll come back in, in a few minutes.